Okay. Kind of, that kind of rhymed a little bit. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Educated, or should I do it more like, what's up, guys? I think he does, does, does he do that movement? I don't know. Does anyone watch Steve McKinnon? Does he do that like movement, like, what's up, guys, with that movement? Or does, he, or does he just go, what's up, guys? I don't know. I kind of feel like it requires the movement. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today, we're going to be making a Gordon's Breakfast. The Gordon Breakfast was created by that legendary bartender, Sam Ross, for Little Branch in 2008. Little Branch, again, is one of those New York City bars. It's an offshoot from Milk and Honey. And a speakeasy vibe. Uh, this cocktail's great because it's like a Bloody Mary alternative. A lot easier to make. You don't have to like... Well, it's not a lot easier to make. It's just a little bit pared down. Uh, it's a gin cocktail. I'm, I'm pairing it with this uh, Tanqueray 10 because I think that the flavor profile of Tanqueray 10 is going to go really well in this drink. And a lucky. And do... I, was, I, I, like, I brought this. This is, I think, the first time that I actually brought something on a set that I don't need instead of forgetting something. This is like the reverse of forgetting. It's like over-preparing. Just thought I'd point that out. Uh, okay, that's all that I got on this drink for you. Let's get into it. First thing we are going to do is take the cap off and drop it on the floor of the Cholula. And we're going to do four dashes. This comes out as like, it doesn't really have a dasher top. So you want to do a bar spoon? That's about a bar spoon. And we're just gonna do, now this does have a dasher top. We're gonna do two of the uh, Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Worcestershire or Worcestershire or Worcestershire? You decide, because I don't know. Then we're gonna do three quarters an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna add six pieces, we're gonna add like six lime wedges. Three pieces of cucumber, two ounces of our gin, and then we are going to do a little muddle. You want to make sure that when you muddle it down, not to like press the peels too much because you don't want to impart too much bitterness, but just give it like a light kind of press. And this is going to be a shake and dump, so we're not going to actually double strain. I brought a double strainer. We don't need it because we're actually shaking and dumping on this one. Here. Just kidding. Go offset. And then we're just going to add our ice. I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to cut this ice up a little bit. Well, fuck it. And shake. I'm using a pretty big old fashioned glass, probably somewhere around 11 or 12 ounces, but uh, this seems like a lot of stuff is in here. I think that I could actually use one more piece of ice. Yeah. Let's shake it and dump it, and then we're going to add a little salt and pepper, cracked pepper, Himalayan salt from Trader Joe's because we fancy like that. And there you have it, my friends, the Gordon's breakfast. Let's try it. That is phenomenally good. That is like, so you get like the savory from the, it's like a tiny bit spicy from the Cholula. You got a savory note from the the Perrins, but that's brought up with this like, you know, lemon, sim, I mean, sorry, lemon, lime, simple syrup, like together, which just like makes it a little um, sweet and then tart. And then you got the gin, which adds those botanicals. It's a nice Bloody Mary alternative. I would crush this. I would drink this. And as evidenced by my continuation of drinking it. Yeah, oh man, that's good. There you have it, my friends. The Gordon's Breakfast. Oh, by the way, like and subscribe if you like our channel. And, so first, like and subscribe if you like our channel. 
And then secondly, uh, check us out on Patreon because we got some awesome stuff going on there. So it's Educated Barfly. Go I always do the invert. Patreon.com backslash the Educated Barfly. There you go. See you next time. I'm done now.